Fear is not real. The only place fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future. It is a product of our imagination, calling us to fear things that do not at present or may not ever exist. That is near insanity. That is from a um, movie by Will Smith um, and his son. Great quote. Huh. Okay, movie. I say I'm a lot. So, working out of the house today, so working from my mobile office, I've um, got a lot of things to do. Uh, and by that, I mean I am in my truck getting ready to go in Starbucks. I wrote a blog the other day titled Not Today, and I had every intention of doing a um, video on it. But last night, something else made me think about the blog and about maybe it's time to do the video. Um, so I've been out of work for about three months. I uh, quit my job. Long story there. And yes, for the record, all this is for hire. So um, if you know something. Um, but anyway, I quit my job last night. I got the um, sympathetic, sympathetic um, head tilt. And the, uh, for those of you, you've all seen it. You just don't necessarily know what it looks like. So it, someone asked me last night to... How you doing? Of course, you know the the head the head tilt is always followed by the uh, the voice changing just slightly. There's some concern with you know the fact that the jobs haven't come along yet, and I haven't found the next thing. And so it's this whole big, you know, what are you gonna do? What if this happens? What if that happens? And, and there's some concern there. And but going back to my blog, I wrote or my uh, yeah my blog. I wrote about the experience I had probably. I guess going on 10 years ago now, I was getting ready to retire from the military. I was told that, um, I almost said by my wife, but I, so I was told that my wife wanted a divorce. Um, kind of came out of blue and with my marriage was going the, every plan I had, um, where I was going to live, what I was going to do, um, how I was going to earn living. So everything was gone. Um, so suddenly I'm faced by this emotional burden of, of getting a divorce and not wanting a divorce and, and that in itself was tough enough. But then and with all that too, suddenly I had to think about what I was going to do. And you know, it was a lot of stuff I was trying to figure out and I was always overwhelmed by the, Oh my God, I'm not going to have a job. I'm not going to ha have any money in the bank. I'm not going to, um, so one morning I'm, I'm getting up, getting up, I'm going to work. I, I don't know what was different about this morning or, or, or maybe I do. Um, I don't know what was different about this morning, but I just was suddenly overwhelmed with all those thoughts to the point that I, I couldn't move. I couldn't, um, couldn't, I just managed to kind of collapse on the side of the bed with one, one boot on. And I was sitting there and of course all of those thoughts were going on in my head. And I suddenly had this voice in my head, my voice, my thoughts, whatever, that suddenly it occurred to me, not today. Like there may be a point I'm out of money. There may be a point I'm out of a job. There may be whatever, but that wasn't to that day. It wasn't um, like that day I had money in the bank. That day I had a job to go to. That day things were fine. Um, so just that's so I say that maybe I do know what happened because I had this whiteboard full of all these to dos I, I had to do, full, full of all these to dos. And I, I don't know if I caught a glimpse of that or anything, but I was staring at that um, board. That board was in front of me. And I remember getting up off, uh, having this thought and suddenly being able to move a little better. And, uh, you know, suddenly it's like, oh, okay, not today. Today I have money in the bank and, you know, who knows what's going to happen. I could get hit by a bus. I could, you know, win the lottery. I could whatever. Um, so I got up and I erased all the to-dos off that board because they were freaking me out. And I wrote in big black letters on this board, not today. And there was suddenly that realization that, yeah, like I said, all that stuff may come true, but not today. Um, today I'm okay. Today I've got stuff. Today I'm doing fine. Today, you know, um, and it's interesting. Those words were probably on that whiteboard for ah, five, six, seven, eight years. They were on that whiteboard. Um, and they, they got me through some, some tough times. And it's a good mentality. It's a good thing. And it's funny, even people around me now have that. They'll say it to me, not today. So all this came full circle last night when I was kind of asked, how are you doing? Um, you know, what are you going to do? And I, I remember I, I just suddenly, I, you know, because you get those overwhelming, uh, at least I do, you get those overwhelming moments where, you you know, it's like, and I remember, th not today. Like today I've got money in the bank. And today, I, oh, hell, today I'm going to Starbucks. Today I'm taking pictures. Today I'm making a video. Not today. I'm fine today. Um, it may, it may 
get bad. Uh, who knows? Um, I know it never has. I've always managed to find a way to make it work. Um, but anyway, it was not today. Um, and I just challenge everybody that, you know, that saying, and, and yes, I love my sayings. Um, I'm convinced that someday every word I, all my original words would be gone and I'll just speak in cliche sayings. You know, worry's like a rocking chair. It'll give you something to do, but it won't get you anywhere. So you can worry all you want. And trust me, I am as bad as anybody about worrying. I worry constantly. Um, so yeah, yeah, I may, I could obsess on what may happen tomorrow or what may happen a month from now, whatever, but it's not happening today. You can, I can be robbed of today and, and I can be, you know, I've found that two things happen. You don't get things done today. And if God forbid you have that bad moment, you don't get things, ha get things done then too. So really you can, you can live it twice if you want. You can live the paralyzation, if you will, from, from worrying about it or, you know, and the reality of having to deal with it, or you can, you know, realize that it's not today. Today is fine. Today I'm in my mobile office. Today I'm doing what I love and you know, I'm going to my uh, the place I love to drink coffee. Um, but anyway, so not today. So that's that's my challenge to you. That's my explanation. I, I maintain my blog in two places on my website and on WordPress if you're interested in all reading the whole story because I write much better than I ramble. Um, but if you're interested in all, they're on there. But I, I just, you can have a lot of worries and I, I do have a lot of serious things I got to figure out. But today, I don't have a problem. Not today.